all right my people welcome back finally odua worldwide calls for release of igboho orders well on today's the odua worldwide uh diaspora pro yoruba social cultural group on thursday restated calls for the unconditional and urgent release of yoruba nation agitator chief sunday at the more fondly called sunday igboho and four of his ace still held in detention well earlier it has been gathered that two out of the four had been released hmm, which is also causing another trouble right now well it has been said that the soka ibadan or your state nigeria home of the pro yoruba self-determination activist sunday adeyemo was invaded by men from the department of state service dss at about 1 30 am on july 1st 2021 leading to the arrest of 12 of his aides while Igboho managed to escape arrest. Well, on to this, also Igboho was arrested in Kutonun Benin Republic on July 16, 2021 with his wife while trying to flee to Germany and then has since then been in detention. Well, eight eights of Sunday Igboho were released on Monday by the DSS the despite being granted bail since August 4th, 2021. Well, there are uh, this set of people are Abdul Latif Onola Potajudin, Irene Loye, Dekola, Ademola Ayobami, Donald Utman, Adelabu, Olakunle, Uluakbalumi, Raji Kazim and then Taiwo. Tajudin. All right, four others still being held in detention are Hamudat Babatunde, Abidin, Shitu, Jamu, Oyetunji, and then Bamidele Sunday. But in a statement, President of the Udua Worldwide, a Canadian based organization, Prince Adewale Ujo, fled the government of Nigeria over the crude invasion of Igboho's house just as it vowed to should fast track the release of Igboho and his four eights still in detention. Well, Ojo said the prompt and an unconditional release of Igboho is what can give a credible and an unbiased face to a government that is now being seen by many as one with mission to subdue other nations in Nigeria to favor one. Well, the influx of notable Yoruba leaders to the Benin Republic and the overwhelming support for Igboho's cause by a majority of Yoruba in Nigeria are clear proof that he was only a crusader of the mindset of his race majority of who feel so shortchanged in the present Nigeria arrangement and then are clamoring for change. Well, the, he condemned the piecemeal approach to the release of Igboho's aids while their leader is still in a benign's detention, saying all those arrested ought to have been released together since they were alleged to have committed same offense. Well, the Odua worldwide has maintained that Igboho was fighting a just cause which should not attract the big stake wielded by the federal government. Well, the group's president noted that self-determination agitation is a fundamental human right that should not be met with stiff resistance as been demonstrated by the nigerian government he wondered why a section of the country has been terrorizing the citizens of nigeria unmolested while Igboho, who is carrying out a peaceful agitation would be the edict of the government well he said we are making this urgent demand that Igboho Han is remaining ace in detention should be released immediately to avert a looming danger hovering around Nigeria. Well, if sweet and then uh, urgent steps are not taken on the right track, we still can't reconcile 
while known national tormentors walk the streets of Nigeria unmolested, while those on a popular struggle suddenly became objects of intimidation by our government. We are appalled that the nation is fast degenerating and no one seems to care about what would become of our once fledgling country which seems to have lost its soul to petty politicking by those ordained to guide it to uniform to guide it to friction so to say well we maintain that the only way peace and tranquility can reign in nigeria is for the federal government to resolve hope that a new nigeria is still a possibility anything to the contrary will pose a serious danger to the unity of our country nigeria all right and then this is what had been said so far on to this odudua worldwide cause for release of Igboho hmm, and others well and this has been said that it has been gathered that as far as the movement is concerned a lot of people hmm, who do a worldwide right now have called on the benin republic to release chief sunday Igboho unconditionally all right, and then one thing for sure has been that Chief Sunday Igboho is a special being. Yes, so to say, because not right now as we speak, majority of people have no, no, woken up concerning his case. Yes, and then I think uh, in this part, I will really love to appreciate the, the Yoruba leaders. They are actually doing exploit onto this and then, uh, no, it's a good thing that they are all you know, so supportive of this movement. And the majority of people have been like, if Chief Sunday Bo you know, ventures to leave the Republic, Republic, like he should not even bother coming to Nigeria. That's, that's what it is right now. That he should not bother. Because the majority of these people love him so much to the extent that they don't even want to you know, think any chance on to no is no release or anything that as soon as he leaves he should just you know go back to germany straight up all right and then that's exactly what is going on right now well and the uh, the leaders have asked for the unconditional release of chief sunday Igboho, and uh, the people have said that we cannot we cannot longer tolerate him in the custody of the Benin Republic. Well, majority of things have been said so far. What more can we say? Me, well, let me have your take on this, my people. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not done so. All right, thanks and God bless.